Hey, what's up YouTube? Down on the smartphone guy coming back at you with another video and tonight we're going to do a little bit of a sibling rivalry between two phones available on Metro PCS and T-Mobile. So on the left hand side I have the LG K20 Plus and on the right hand side I have the LG Stylo 3 Plus. So like I mentioned both of these are available on Metro PCS and T-Mobile. The LG K20 Plus is available for $100 on Metro PCS or $175 on T-Mobile and the LG Stylo 3 Plus is $180 on Metro PCS or $225 on T-Mobile. So I want to start out this video just talking about um, the differences, the main differences uh, between these two devices. So the first one is going to be, of course, the price. We already mentioned that one. But then the second one would be the battery. So on the LG Stylo 3 Plus, we have a 30,050 milliamp hour battery that is removable, so you can go ahead and exchange it. So if you want to pop that battery out, replace it with a different one to get a full full battery, um, you can do that. And the same is also true of the K20 Plus. That is also a removable battery. Um, but we have a 2800 milliamp hour battery in this device. So again, it's fully removable. I'm going to go ahead and turn the screen off and just pop that screen, pop that off. So there you go, there's your 2800. Actually, it says 2700. So it says 27 to 2800 in, um, in the spec sheet. So this one's actually a 2700 apparently. Um, but so obviously this one has the larger battery, but in my experience, um, the battery life on the K20 Plus is slightly better. Um, in general, I would um, finish a day with about 30 to 40% battery when I was using the K20 Plus. With the Stylo 3 Plus, which I'm currently using, um, I'm getting anywhere from four to six hours. It's kind of it's kind of weird depending on my usage. I'm anywhere from four to six hours of screen on time, whereas with the K20 Plus, it was always pretty close to consistently right around six hours of screen on time. So on occasion, I can get that that good a screen on time on the Stylo 3 Plus, but for the most part, uh, I'm right around five hours there. Um, so battery life, despite having a, the smaller battery, I found that the K20 Plus had slightly better battery life. Now with that being said, this one has quick charge 2.0, whereas the K20 Plus does not have any kind of quick charge technology. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is um, the display. So obviously the displays are uh, a little bit different, especially in size. And that's another difference, obviously, is the actual size of the phones. But we have a 5.7 inch 1080p display on uh, the Stylo 3 Plus. And on the K20 Plus, we have a 720p that's only 5.3 inches. So I will say that without a doubt, there is no question here that for me, the Stylo 3 Plus definitely... Uh, has the much better display. Now, in terms of brightness, neither of them are particularly bright. Um, I would, and this is kind of true of most LG phones that I've used recently, I, I do wish that they were a little bit brighter. Um, and that's also true with this phone. So if you're in a super bright day, you're going to have to crank up the, the Stylo 3 Plus or the K20 Plus. Either one, you're going to have to crank them up to 100% um, to see them well during uh, you know a, a super bright day. Like So for instance, today I was out for a walk with my dog and I had to crank up the Stylo 3 Plus all the way up to 100% uh, to see it. So um, not the brightest of displays, but I, I would definitely take the Stylo 3 Plus 1080p display over that of the K20 Plus. So that's the difference in displays. Um, some other differences, uh, one major difference, of course, is that with the Stylo 3 Plus, you get a stylus, which actually adds quite a bit of features, I think, um, to the, the phone. So you have all of these different options here. So we have the quick capture. So if I were to do a quick screenshot, I could go ahead and take that screenshot and then I could add to that text over the screenshot. So that's, that's really useful. I mean, if you are especially somebody who um, has like a business minded, you know, maybe you have a business where you, you know, might take screenshots on your phone and might send them out to somebody that actually is a very useful feature in my opinion. Um, and something that, of course, the K20 Plus does not have. Um, but yeah, so definitely that stylus adds a lot of bonus features to the, the Stylo 3 Plus that you won't get on the K20 Plus. And then the last thing is that the Stylo 3 Plus does also feature NFC, which you will not find on the K20 Plus. So that's the major differences. And if there's anything I'm missing in those differences, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section in case there's something I'm missing. But now I want to talk about the similarities between the two devices, because in 
in most ways, these are very similar devices. So the first thing that's similar about these two devices would be uh, the processor. So they don't actually have the same processor. Um, they're slightly different Snapdragon processors, but on the K20 Plus, 1.4 gigahertz processor, same thing on the Stylo 3 Plus, this is a 435 Snapdragon processor, uh, Snapdragon Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. And uh, I would say in general, the performance on the two devices really is indistinguishable. You, we're not going to really see any kind of performance differences. So um, if you don't mind the smaller screen uh, and obviously the 720p display um, and you're just looking for a decent phone, then yeah, the K20 Plus might be the way to go, a little bit cheaper. Um, but in terms of performance, you're not going to see much of a difference. Both have two gigs of RAM as well, so there's no difference there either. Um, in terms of the cameras, they both have 13 megapixel cameras on the back, as you can see here. And then they both have five megapixel cameras up front. So just kind of give you a little snapshot or a snippet of what they, the, the cameras are like. So both of them are great in daylight. Um, so I'll just give you a kind of a quick look at a couple of pictures that I took maybe in the daylight today, hopefully if I still have these up here. So this is just a, a picture. Actually, this is an indoor picture, but still um, in daylight, in good good daylight, you're going to get excellent picture quality. I think out of both devices, um, but when you get when it comes to low light, neither of them are going to take particularly great pictures. So low light performance is basically similar. The front facing selfie camera, again, you're going to need good lighting in order to get a good picture out of both of them. Um, so. Camera wise, I really don't see any difference between the two. They do both also feature 32 gigs of onboard storage and they both have Android 7.0. Now I'm actually not running the stock UI on either of these. Um, in both cases, I have Nova Launcher and that's primarily because I'm just not a huge fan of the stock, or sorry, not the stock, I like stock Android. Um, but if you look at the two devices, um, basically they have the exact same menu set up. Um, the only difference, of course, being that this one will have NFC and then it also has the pin features that you won't see on this device. So other than that, basically the same UI, come down here to about phone. And of course they're both running Android 7.0 if I could actually find it somewhere in here. So software info and uh, yeah. So I think I missed it over here. All right, so Android 7.0, Android 7.0. This one's running the March security patch. This one's running the April security patch. So other than that, primarily, uh, basically the same uh, software on both of these devices. So which one is better for you? Well, a lot of that depends on what you think is important. So obviously if you're if you're more price minded, the K20 Plus is going to be the better buy. Um, the display for me on the K20 Plus is maybe just a little bit of a negative. And the added features that you get with the Stylo 3 Plus like NFC, um, you get quick charging, you get that stylus, the better display. For me personally, I do think that it's worth it to upgrade, you know, pay a little bit more um, to get the Stylo 3 Plus. So on Metro PCS, it would end up being $80 more, or on T-Mobile, it would end up being $50 more to get the Stylo 3 Plus. But I do think that the added features that this phone has are worth it, um, but... I do also think that the K20 Plus is a solid option um, on either of those two carriers. So with that being said, if you have any questions or comments about either of these two phones, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Please subscribe, hit that button right down there. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.